Usyk and Dubois, do you give Dubois even a puncher chance? Because he's a big puncher. It's heavyweight boxing. Where, where do you I, stand I, on his I, chances? As much as I like Daniel, I like his manager, I like his promoter, Frank Warren, I give him no chance whatsoever. Zero. Would you advise him not to even do the fight? No. Like he's not WBA ready? champ. No, he's getting, a, he's getting a million and a half dollars, and that's the best he can do right now. So I wouldn't advise right. him not to. Right. He, without, the we, title, without the title, he's useless. So what's he going to make without the title? Somebody's going to offer him right. 300? Come on. Right. He's not, he's not, with, with Joyce and Zhang, last time we spoke to you, and Joyce is the third best heavyweight. Obviously, it was an unexpected upset with Zhang beating him. Do you give Joyce a good chance of avenging that loss in the rematch? Yeah, I, if, if, if anybody can, he can. But I, 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 he, he doesn't get out of the way of punches. He just doesn't get out of the way. He eats every punch. You know, <laughs> right. I mean, you know, it's just you, you can't fight like that at that level. You can only take so many shots to the head before you're going to cave in. You know, right. So, yeah, so it doesn't sound promising, but no. if he were to beat him, he would become the mandatory, right, for the WBO, if, if I'm not mistaken, for uh, who, 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 who is Joyce. What? Joyce, Joyce beats Zhang yeah. in the rematch. He, he regains yeah. his mandatory status, Pro right? Yeah, I, he probably would. I'm not saying he would for sure, but he probably would. That sounds like a, you know, typical yes. Okay. And typical, uh, typical with, yes. with Tyson Fury, uh, obviously, I know you're a big Tyson Fury fan. I'm a big Tyson Fury fan. But I was a little disappointed that he's fighting an MMA guy. I understand the business side of it. But it's almost like a little bit of a slap in the face to the hardcore boxing fans who supported Fury all this time. Where do you stand on that? I stand that as long as it's an exhibition and it's not considered a, a fight, it doesn't go on his record, and the title's not on the world title's not on the line. I don't care what he does. If he can do what he, what he wants, he's a grown ass man. He's an adult. If they don't want to buy it on pay per view, that anybody doesn't want to buy it, don't buy it. But if it's a title fight, it, it, or it counts and his record as a real fight, then I have a problem with it. If it's just an exhibition, I don't have a problem with it. Will you be buying it? Depends on who the under who's on the undercard. I don't know. Depends. You okay. know, yeah, so I, I don't buy I don't buy exhibition. Me. I don't buy exhibition boxing and YouTubers and all that shit and all that kind of crap. So I probably won't unless something on the undercard really interests me. Yeah, same. I don't. I don't. I don't buy that. The only time I did was when it was uh, Jake Paul, Tommy Fury. That was actually an interesting matchup, but. In general, I don't, I don't, I don't buy you know. Well, I bought fights. that. I bought that for another reason. I bought that because Bodu Jack, um, uh, uh, promo his promoter um, Amir Abdallah is my very good friend and 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 also a client. So yes, that's why I bought that to support them and to, to see the to see Bodu Jack uh, winning the world the WBC Cruiserweight title at age forty. I was very excited about that.